Hello Minders, welcome back to another Mind Shop vlog. I thought what I'd do today is answer a question. Uh, it was asked, I don't remember where it was asked, it was on Facebook or Instagram or YouTube, I'm not sure, one of those. But it's a pretty interesting question. As you know, I'm a watercolor channel, that's my main focus. Not really into the other mediums yet, you know, I'm probably going to introduce some multimedia stuff little bits here little bits there the focus here will always be watercolor anyway to the question uh, the question was a good one and one I was kind of excited about answering because I've I've kind of done a lot of this actually and that's can you use acrylic as a watercolor medium in a watercolor style you know where you thin it out and you get these thin transparent washes and that kind of a thing yes absolutely yes I've done it for years and in fact it was my favorite way to paint with acrylics uh, as an illustrator now I just gave you a peek at one I did about 10 years ago let's look at it again now most experienced artists if I showed them that they would say oh looks like watercolor well it's not this whole piece is acrylic and it's done on watercolor paper you can see all the wet and wet washes uh, in the backgrounds now if you start to look carefully you can see some of the differences as I modeled the face and I spent the most time there I started using uh, some thin but opaque glazes and in these folds in the arm now there's some things I would probably do different today if I did if I redid this piece and I wanted it to look like in my normal style uh, what I consider my style I wanted the uh, washes to fade off into nothing so yeah and you can see the spatter and for all practical purposes this is a watercolor looking piece so it's absolutely possible and I mention this not because I'm gonna start taking this channel into acrylic and not that that would be a bad thing either but from time to time I may talk about this and using acrylic in a watercolor fashion in answering this question I want to give you a few pointers just in case you're one of the artists out there that already has acrylics and you're looking for ways to use them you're looking for ways to experiment let me just talk a little bit about some of the things I've found you know you saw me pull these out of the drawer this was my favorite acrylic to use uh, these are creamy these are not heavy bodied the reason I like them is because they're concentrated heavily concentrated color I don't know their light fastness uh, back in my illustration days I didn't pay a lot of attention to light fastness but I like this concentrated acrylic because its tinting strength was so good that's kind of what you need when you're doing a watercolor approach so when you thin them out and do uh, real transparent wet and wet washes or transparent glazes uh, you're gonna get some really nice tinting strength and it doesn't take a lot of paint now the other thing is paper basically I just used watercolor paper now if you thin acrylics down really really thin and you're painting on a non-absorbent uh, surface like canvas or like a hardboard masonite you're gonna have some adherence issues so acrylic professional artists will tell you that thinning acrylics way down um, with just water will cause them to be able to rub off or something like that I don't know the exact things I'm not an expert acrylic painter but if you're using watercolor paper it doesn't matter because most of the pigment absorbs into the paper just like with watercolor and so you're not really left with problems of the paint being able to rub off this is another one that I thought was a very good paint had a really good tinting strength to it is the golden liquid acrylics they have them in tube and they have them in fluid and I would always use these because they thinned out and tinted much uh, more brilliantly now the next thing is if you want to try this uh, just keep in mind that once they're dry they're they're permanent there's no lifting there's not even a little bit of rewetting the advantage is is you can go in with uh, white or opaque highlights here and there to kind of bring back some white areas but just like with watercolor since you're painting in a watercolor technique when you start using a lot of white and opaque it looks different than the white of the paper so when I did it uh, used opaque paint I, I made sure I didn't use 
a lot of pure white because pure white has a bluish cast to it and watercolor paper is usually a more natural kind of ivory cast so that's another consideration I primarily use synthetic brushes for acrylic acrylics are a little bit harder on brushes than watercolor I think they have binders and stuff in there that can actually harm really fine animal hair um, so I could be wrong in this but I'm pretty sure most acrylic artists that use acrylics a lot stick with synthetic brushes and I always did however you know it's good to get ones that mimic watercolor hair you know like, like the Kalinsky sables or the squirrel hair because of the fluid flow uh, you still, if you're going to thin it out and you're going to use it in a watery me method or a watery fashion, you're going to want that same kind of control that you have with watercolor. Another consideration with using acrylics is can you mix them with watercolor? Yes, you can. Uh, however, you don't want to get acrylics anywhere near your watercolor palette. So I usually use like temporary something like this. Uh, if I put out little dots of acrylic paint and I want to use some watercolor with it to tint, uh, then I would just put that out especially for use with the acrylic. Don't go mixing acrylic on your watercolor palette. And I speak from experience because those globs will dry on your watercolor palette. You'll mix and you won't be able to keep track of where the acrylic is and where the watercolor is. But using watercolor a little bit with acrylic is a good way to extend your color like you can use some very maybe light or very basic set of colors with acrylic you can tint them various ways by using just a few other watercolor uh, pigment colors if you've got acrylics and something you want to try get out and experiment um, use the watercolor paper use the watercolor brushes the synthetic ones not the sable or the squirrel hair ones wet and wet wash to your heart's content um, keep them wet keep the paper wet until you're ready for them to dry just have a blast give it, see what you think thanks see you in the next video